<laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Soda, and today I have the lovely Cass with us from Night Cafe. And do you want to kind of explain a little bit what you do and a little bit about yourself? Yeah, definitely. So um, as it was mentioned before, my name is Cass. I am the social media and community manager for Night Cafe, which is an AI art generating platform. Um, we're pretty popular, not just for our like capabilities, but actually for community, which is something that I take a lot of pride in. Um, I started with Night Cafe um, just as like a normal user, just like every, I imagine a lot of people start off just kind of looking for something to do in their spare time. Um, found Night Cafe, and at the time, there wasn't a community formed just yet. Um, so I made my own Discord. And the founder of Night Cafe slipped in and offered to sponsor some of our giveaways that we were doing. Um, so I shot my shot and I got my job, like from just doing what I was doing. So wow! Uh, so you you started? Did you start that Discord that most of us use? Or wow! I didn't yeah. realize that. I love how proactive you were. That's yes. awesome. Yes. Yeah, that's something that I think I always like I try not to fan fangirl in meetings or anything, but like to actually have this as my job is like a dream come true. And I genuinely love what I do and was doing it before without getting paid for it. Like that was just what I loved doing. So yes, yeah. that's such a great feeling. And like I'm really wondering as someone who um because you don't have an art background, right? At all or no, I have, like, I just do it for fun. I'm more of a visual thinker. So school wasn't ever like an easy breezy thing for me. And I was always a doodler. I was always someone who loved to like, my art classes were where I was escaping for the day. Um, yeah. So not like a super artsy background, more just kind of, yeah, like I was, I'm, I fall into the category of I wanted to express myself, but didn't necessarily have the time or skills or money. So how has, um, being able to use Night Cafe to kind of express yourself creatively been for you and been for your confidence, mental health, all of that kind of stuff. What kind of benefits have you seen? Yeah. So first of all, confidence is one of the first things. I feel like now I can actually tackle paintings when before it was very daunting to come up with a concept, sketch it, and then, you know, like go on from there, figure out what colors went where. But I feel like now with Night Cafe, um, I've been practicing painting at least, haven't done any recently, but with Night Cafe, those concepts are a lot more streamlined. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like sometimes I can be hyper fixated on something and that's what stops me from moving on. Like I will literally like beat myself into a rock. Um, but with, you know, having concept art or at least being able to type in what I want vaguely created and have that mm -hmm. shot out for me. I don't know. That's something that has really helped me build my confidence with creating art. And also um, with my mental health, I can't like deny that at all. It's been helping for the past couple of years, well, almost a couple of years, so much, so much, especially when I found um, the community before I even was officially a night cafe staff member. I had just had my baby girl, um, like a year before and was still suffering from postpartum depression and it's very real very lonely and it's almost something like if you're a mom then you know it's kind of hard to like find other mom friends to talk to about it so my escape was really going online um connecting to uh, through like other apps i think one of the ones i found ai art on was tiktok and that's what led me to search up like night cafe um but yeah, I was in a very vulnerable, I want to say dark place when I was starting on Night Cafe. And mm -hmm. what I realized what I was missing was community. Like I did not, I did not have that though. You know, you have like family is one thing, but not everyone has like a super close knit. Like every weekend we're going to do something. We go to the baseball games once a month. Like that's not where my family was. Um, so I, like, yeah. as I, I had them around, but it wasn't really like I had them around. But when I finally like took the the plunge to start my own Discord, it was around all AI art, not just Night Cafe. It was like Mid Journey, Start AI, like all the if you created AI art, you were welcome. And that was like so healing. And I it still holds a special place in my heart. It's not really too used anymore, like the, my original Discord. Um, 
but it's so so special to me like I almost am like it's like my baby like I I don't know there's so much love for for where everything started so yeah super helpful for my mental health and of course confidence yeah I really wanted to dive more into this the the whole mental health thing because I mean like I think it's one in four people deal with some sort of anxiety or depression or something throughout their life and honestly for me I mean yeah there are other ways to do art therapy but for me personally I've really felt that doing AI art therapy um, has a totally different effect than other um, forms of therapy because you're able to have more more control especially if you are someone who is a non-artist um what are what are some of the ways that you maybe have used um specifically the art th the art ai art process as art therapy for you um i really like that i can almost zone like into something being able to get into the flow it's meditative in a way because i'm so focused on getting this image right getting it getting the words right um that it really is a, a really healthy distraction. Like that's, that's probably one of the best ways to put it. I was actually just recently talking to an artist um, who had said that, like she said, it's probably the healthiest distraction. You know, I could sit on my couch and like scroll on TikTok or like eat a whole bag of potato chips and watch TV. But you know, like if I can sit and make some AI art and do something that is, you know, actually aesthetically beautiful um, that you're facilitating, it's, it's very it's healing in so many ways and yeah <clears throat> yeah because so many people think that oh we only like ai art so we could get attention or we could make you know quick views a ton of money or whatever yeah. like mm -hmm. get rich quick schemes or whatever but there's so so much more into that and even like there there's communities specifically based on like helping each other heal through AI art with hundreds mm -hmm. of people in it. I'm not sure if you're involved in any of those um, kind of yeah. online communities with that, or if there's anything you want to uh, mention about how that is for you. Yeah, definitely. There's actually someone in the community. He goes by Mac Hatter. Um, I know he started he just recently also had a baby. So he's kind of like his, his channel shifting a little bit or because he yeah, does YouTube I, as well. I, okay. Yeah. So, um, but mainly what I um, want to mention is his discord, uh, which was, I don't know the name exactly, but we can, I'm sure we're going to put a link in the description for it. Um, it's just for AI art and mental health and kind of how, people have been healing through it just it's just a community for people who um have healed through ai art and it's so cool to see so many people even that i haven't even like you know interacted with um join that server and become so such big parts of it i personally um i'm like so tied up in the stuff that i do um, with night cafe but i know we've sponsored a few giveaways for them that's something that we're always open to doing um and yeah like even for may last month there it was mental health awareness month and we interviewed um a few artists about that and kind of where where ai art stands in their healing journey um so yeah we're we're super big and we're super aware of the fact that ai art you know as much of a hobby as it is it's also very therapeutic um and is a healthy distraction for a lot of the people who use it yeah exactly i mean people people have this image of the ai artist and they don't they don't know i mean some of the examples i mean i'm not going to give anything too specific but some of the um examples that i've seen in my conversations you know the 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 doctor who's working uh 16 hour shifts and just you know is so stressed out with with that and just wants to take a few minutes to you know distract himself from his work or the the teenage kid trying to get through chemotherapy and just wanting to show a way to express like the pain that they're you know or discomfort that they're going to like there's there's so many situations where it's literally like helping people go through these like life or death sometimes situations where it's it's what's helping them cling on to their mental health and it's doing so so much good and I understand that some people are really upset with AI art and it's making their mental health worse but I, I'm hoping that 
I, I want to help, you know, I, I want them to be happy too. I want to find a way that we could still have our AI art to like help each other heal and then, you know, find ways, you know, whether it's through projects, I don't know, government, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm sure there's some. So do it ethically. Yeah. So all both parties, you know, mm-hmm. so we could both, because mental health is something that I think both sides can really agree on that, that we, you know, need help with. Yeah. Especially with art. I feel like traditional artists can't deny the fact that their art is also helping their mental health. It's almost like breathing for people who have to make art. Like it, they don't even think about it. They're just going to do it. Um, And I don't know. That's one reason why like my biggest argument back to people who will say AI art is not like how you had brought up AI art has no soul. It's not, it's not human. It's just a machine making it. It's like, well, isn't that the most human thing ever to adapt and to like change what you know, what you think, you know, and like flip it on its head and completely like, and reinvent something like that's the most human thing ever like the code in itself is art like I don't know like it's I don't it's it's so much bigger than just Twitter clickbait or Twitter argument like it's actually I think the base of like being human wanting to create that is so true and I I love that there's so many different medium so many different ways for us to create and hopefully we can find ways for us to grow as a society and really help each other heal from um whatever we're going through because we're all going through something yeah definitely Ugh. i do i do love ai art like for that reason it's just such a like like we're, we're living in what is it cyberpunk like that one video game i feel like we're actually in the future like people can just type in something on their phone you know and just like create uh what some people will say aren't masterpieces what i felt at first was a masterpiece so yeah totally all the way love love what we're doing awesome i I love to hear it so (laughs) yeah i guess we'll we'll end with that i think that's a positive note and um i will put the links down below for anyone who wants to check out night cafe check out some of the discords and um, hope to see you again soon yeah thanks everyone